So after I bought this house, it had been in what is known as a state condition. And one of my clients, for whom I'd done a wonderful house up here in Montecito, called me and she said, oh, you know, some decorator from Los Angeles has bought this house sight unseen. And I mean, do you know who it is? Because the house is in pretty bad shape. I said, Yes, twas I, I'm the one who bought it. And she said, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, here it is now. I knew it had wonderful bones and a great layout. And I'm so glad that I bought it. I had really been looking for about a year and a half ever since my husband, Fred, died. And there's so many beautiful houses here, but many of them were just too much house for me. And this seemed perfect. It's so fun to visit you in Montecito after seeing your Hancock Park home in LA. Well, I'm so glad you all are here. This is my house where it's just very relaxed. I, I still have very special things that I've chosen, but I've tried to keep it calmer and lots of works on paper. You never relax. You're always moving and going and creating designing, but I believe you because I already feel relaxed here. Good. There's the sound of the water and the color, the palette here is calm. Yes, and I, of course, obsessed over the color and the inside and the outside are plastered with integrally colored plaster. The same shape, but because it's this beautiful real plaster, it changes with the light. So exciting. Oh, I'm in. Can't wait. So this was the formal dining room, but I opened it up yeah. and put this wonderful princess in the pea bed so that my grandchildren and I could look at the mountains and read and do all those things. In fact, I have so many places to relax in this house that my daughter said to me, um, Mother, are there going to be any places to sit upright? But meanwhile, please try. Really? This. I guess yes. Yes. Oh, this is just the width of this. I know. It's so indulgent in the best way. Oh my gosh, how do you ever leave this area? And there's a fireplace? Yes, well, then you can turn the pillows around oh, and watch the fireplace way. if you want. And I noticed immediately these plates, which I love how you sort of face you. topple down this and was, me down. This was one of the original 70s fireplaces, and I just thought it would be great. And of course, Dick and James, my architect, are so fabulous, and they were right along with me. And um, I bought these at Robert Kahn, a new place in Pimlico. And they are blue and white Chinese plates that were underwater for like 200 years. The blue is faded and there are incrustations on it. And I just thought that they just have character and I love them. As everything in this house has so much character. Yeah. I get what your daughter was saying is that yeah. everywhere in this house, you want to recline and just yeah. soak in the beauty that surrounds you. It's so beautiful. And I do have a picture of my oldest granddaughter who came in from swimming and has this towel all around her head. And she's here with her book because she's a mad reader. 
And it's like, yeah. what's better, right? No. I mean, you so know, better. you created the right environment no. where your granddaughter can come from. So much and better read. to have to, to have people reading here than have formal dinner parties, right? I so agree. <laughs> you know, I've always loved the architecture of warm places, whether it's Tuscany or the Luberon or uh, Southern California. But I love that certain simplicity, especially Mallorca, which really inspired this house. And uh, I wanted it to be very soft colors, and I wanted this to be my house of calm because our other house that I've lived in for 41 years is, it's a scrapbook of our lives together and it's full of wonderful things. But this was a place to go and just, relax, stare at the mountains, putter in the garden, read books, and stare some more. What's this amazing room, one that, after the this other? This is my cozy room, but I... Capital C, capital R? Yes. <laughs> but this is, uh, I've used it as my cabinet of curiosity since I have a, a dedicated book room. So all the things I've collected, that are oddball and wonderful over the years. You I've... created deep shelves for them. Yes. Correct? Yes. And I love how you have a lot of shelves in your Hancock Park, Los Angeles yes. home that are more traditional. Yes. Here, it reflects the setting of Montecito, Santa Barbara. It's got that plaster, and they're so deep. I know, I, I really love them. And then the, those wonderful sculptures are knotted rope from the 70s, from a, an art show. And um, I have some wonderful uh, contemporary ceramicists from Adrian Sassoon. Everything and has a story here yes, when I ask and, you. And it's all incredible. these wonderful escutcheons in uh, 17th and 18th century keys that um, my husband and I bought at the Thieves Market, which is what they call the flea market. One Sunday in uh, in Mexico, and what a perfect way to display yeah, them! I know. All I finally out. have this great great place to do it. Now, speaking of spreading out, can mm -hmm. we talk about the depth and the yes substance? Yeah. Of I this wanted these sofa? to be really cozy, so I had mattresses made. What? Yeah. These. This is a real. It's a real mattress, so that should I have grandchildren know, sleeping over, yes, whatever, whatever. and then we chance me. Sure. Why not? I would be so happy just to be yeah, here. Yeah, and it, it's just it's it's a really cozy room. Now, do you what is that a what is this? Is that a painting? That is a piece of art, a contemporary art, but it is one of those wonderful TVs that have a frame around them, and you can have a piece of art showing. Because I've never put a television over a fireplace before. You go, girl. <laughs> And I know, you do like, that in your new house. I'm going to do this this time. <laughs> and so you can choose a piece of artwork, and then of course you just click it on, and then yes, it, it I replaces mean, by. Someday I could have a Bill Viola, you know, uh, no, video but art, but this. I love this too. I really do, and it kind of goes in with it everything else. With so, you know, it's, it's perfect. Good. This is a great room to be in, and I love this Moroccan table. It's sort of just the right height in these wonderful little hassocks that you can pull anywhere. I like that you made your watching television cocoon room as elegant and as comfortable as all the rest of the rooms because a lot of people sort of shortchange that room and just think, oh, we're just watching TV in there so it doesn't have to be good looking. And of course, this room is as exotic and comfortable as all the other ones, as it deserves to well, be. Thank you, I, I love it. So one of the things that was fun about this house is I got to look for new artwork for it. And I was really interested in collecting works on paper, which I love. I, and I love drawings. And I also have uh, put a focus on Santa Barbara artists. And I was lucky to find a William Dole uh, collage. I've always admired him. So that, that's that been one of the really great things here. And all the art is calm and beautiful. And some of these drawings, I, I could just look at day in, day out. They're just so beautifully done. Bon appetit. Yummy. Wait, are these on roller, on wheels? Yes, they are. I they love this. It's great. What a great idea. I know, and my granddaughters love to race each other up and down the enfilade. And uh, it's really fun. 
Yeah, they're so comfortable too, aren't so they? So comfortable. This looks delicious. From William Lennon. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.